guys, what's up? I wanted to give you guys an update on my very stressful morning. So I woke up at 6 a.m. to get ready to go to the aquarium for my internship. I'm supposed to be there by 7.30. And I woke up and we didn't have any power. Apparently our power went out in the middle of the night. It is raining and it is cold. So needless to say, all of my animal enclosures are extremely cold because our heat hasn't been on. And my fish tank isn't running, so it's cold and there's no movement. Luckily I don't have that many fish. I didn't go and buy more yet. So I only have the three fish in my pleco. So I had to call into the aquarium, which was a nightmare, because the only number I have is for a girl who's not working today. And the offices don't open until 7.30, which is when I'm supposed to be there. So I had to very creepishly find one of the guys on Facebook and message him. He hasn't seen it yet, but I left messages for everybody. So here's hoping that they know I'm not coming in. So it's currently almost 7 o'clock and luckily I had things on hand for something like this. Not intentionally, I have some rubber like hot water jugs that I use for a case when he would go to the vet. I put it in his travel bin just to keep some heat. So and then luckily I have two coolers. So I'll kind of show you what I've done so far to keep everybody warm. So I don't know how well you can see because it's still really dark, but I've got Phoenix's cooler that she travels in and then my new food cooler. So I have two hot water jugs, so I have one in each wrapped in a bunch of blankets so it's only kind of warm not hot. Phoenix is in her pillowcase and I just put Apollo back in his little cup that he came in because he's so tiny I don't want to put him in a pillowcase. I need to get like pencil pouch or something. So my two snakes are in there and I'm going to put them in the closet because the closet's always the warmest part of my room. And then I'm going to wake up Arcadius and put him in my sweatshirt and bring him back to bed with me. Um, I haven't taken him out yet because I was dealing with the snakes and I wanted to put on my sweatshirt and everything and try to get it all nice and warm so when I take him out he'll just automatically be warm and then I climb back in bed. And my laptop's probably going to die my phone's probably going to die. It's going to be a great day. Alright, so it's about 10 o'clock. As you can see, we have power again, which is perfect because Arcadius was waking up and not wanting to cuddle anymore, and I'm getting really hungry. So, I've got him back in his enclosure with heat on. I'm just waiting on the snake enclosures to warm up. But while they do that, I'm doing some cleaning, refilling water dishes, and just doing the tasks that need to be done while they warm up. Alright, so now that we have power and everyone's back in their enclosures nice and warm, I figured I would show you guys how I kept them warm during a power outage. So you guys know I put Arcadius in my sweatshirt and kept him warm that way. Um, I used these two coolers for the snakes. So this is just a styrofoam cooler from 7-Eleven. You guys have seen this before. This is what I use for Phoenix when I'm traveling with her. I put her in her pillowcase and then I put her in here. If you're ever transporting an animal, I highly recommend a styrofoam cooler. They hold heat very, very well. I also have this cooler down here. Then I bought myself for my birthday because I thought it was pretty and I wanted it for the beach. I used this for Apollo. This also worked really, really well. So any kind of coolers work great when it comes to power outages. So for heat, I didn't have any hand warmers on hand. I've also heard that those aren't the best. What I use are these rubber water jug things. So I have two of them. I used to use them last summer or two summers ago when I got Arcadius um, when I took him to the vet I'd fill them with warm water put them in the bottom of his travel tub and put a towel over them to give him some warmth because it was kind of like cool summer days when we took him to the vet so luckily I had two of these on hand so I filled them with hot water put one in each cooler and then I just used some towels to cover them and layer them to make sure it was just going to be warm 
for the snakes and not like super super hot because I did put hot water in because I wanted it to last a while so I used this towel's thick because it's a hair towel so it's kind of two layers for the other one I put two washcloths in trying to really layer it up so just be warm and then I put um, Apollo back in the little tub that he came in a little breeder tub and put that inside the cooler and I just put Phoenix in her pillowcase and put it in the cooler as if we were going to travel. So these methods worked really well. And they were in there from probably 6.45 until 10 o'clock. Yeah, so they were like really warm in there. It was the right temperatures. It's worked great. So for anyone that wants to be prepared, anyone that has reptiles, I highly recommend these little water jugs, they're rubber, they're amazing. You can just refill them and keep reusing them. Just make sure when you're done, you take that little piece out, empty them and let them dry so that you don't get anything gross growing inside of them. But these are fantastic for things like this. Or even just traveling with your reptiles, these are great. So I highly, highly recommend these. So, Thank you to everyone who kept us in your thoughts during the power outage. Luckily it only lasted a couple of hours. But now I can say I survived my first power outage with the reptiles. So I definitely don't ever want to do that again. But now I can say I kind of have an idea of what to do. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. And we'll see you next time.